I'm here to talk about the Authorised Economic Operator Programme. So what is that all about? Well, let just me give you a brief definition. And it is that any party involved in the international movement of goods in whatever function, and that function could be as a manufacturer, importer, exporter, customs broker, freight forwarder, carrier, or whatever else. And that has been approved by the National Customs Administration as complying with the WCO, um, or equivalent supply chain security uh, standards. So, I suppose the first question you're going to be asking is, what are the benefits for me if I was to take this particular task on? It's very important, now particularly here in Mozambique, because your country depends a lot more than other countries on the receipts um, from customs and excise and indeed VAT. And so, it's important for the Customs Authority to examine regularly goods. So one of the benefits is that because you would be regarded as approved, your risk rating reduces because you've met the criteria. And I talked to you in a moment about the criteria. But you will also have easier access to simplifications. You don't necessarily have to produce all of the data on your import declaration, just the important uh, uh, information. And so then maybe at the end of each peri period, such as a month, uh, you would, might have to file a detailed uh, declaration. You will be subject to examination of goods, but you will get advance notice of it, you will be prioritised for examination and you will have a choice of location within which uh, your goods can be examined. Internally, you have advantages. Sometimes they may be hard to see. But when you have applied for your authorisation, you have got to make sure that um, your organisation is working efficiently. And that's to do with the criteria. And when you do that examination, you can weed out or separate processes uh, and procedures that are duplicative or that you can amend and amalgamate into a single um, procedure. And all of this will end up with the customer getting a better service from you and you being better able to plan you will also have the advantage of having a better relationship with customs and your reputation nationally, regionally and internationally will be higher because you have this AEO status. So let's get to the business. What are the criteria that you have to meet before you can be approved as an AEO? The first thing is that you must have a good customs compliance record. Now what that means is that you must be declaring your goods properly and you must be paying the correct amount of duties uh, and import VAT. That doesn't mean to say that you won't be error free. It is highly unlikely you will be error free. But that the violations will not be of a serious nature. And what I'm really talking about here is the area of tax and customs fraud and criminal activity. So you must meet that standard. The second standard, which is also extremely important, is that you have proper logistical and accounting systems and procedures in place at your premises. That means that you must be able to track your goods from the time you make a purchase order, right through the arrival of the goods, and the ultimate sale of the goods. And customs um, will want to ensure that your, um, your payments for those goods 
um, are clear and seem to relate to the import invoices. Because ultimately, your systems must be such and set up so that they can detect um, illegal transactions or erroneous transactions that will give a distorted view of what um, of the business you're in and the accounting systems that you have. And finally, the, the third criterion that's currently in place is that you have a good financial uh, solvency. And how you prove that is by producing um, audit accounts over the past three years, um, which again, uh, customers will look at. Now, there is a fourth criterion, which is not at the moment in your legislation here in Mozambique, but it relates to safety and security. That safety and security criterion is crucial, particularly in the context of the AEO in international trading activities.